friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the WW Blue Plan. It's Friday, so you know what that means. It is weigh in day. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit about how my week went, talk a little bit about next week, and also share with you the WW workshop topic. It was a good one. It's one that we've discussed before, but just in a little bit different way, which I actually really enjoyed. So I can't wait to touch base with you guys, let you know how things are going, and of course, hear from you on how things are going for you. So, if you're new, make sure that you are subscribed. That way you don't miss a single video. I do weigh in videos every single Friday, so you don't wanna miss out. Of course, if you are new as well, check out my other channel, my new channel, Jen Clayton Nutrition. This is all about weight loss and nutrition. Lots of great information, tips and tricks. Whether you're on Weight Watchers or not, it's very important for you to gather all the information you can when it comes to weight loss and nutrition. So I'd mean a lot to me if you guys would go over and subscribe to that channel as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these weigh-ins. And lastly, make sure you're checking out the description box down down below for my nutrition coaching website. I have a little bit of something for everyone. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching. Definitely consider having me figure out your macros and calories. That's very important, even if you're on WW, to kind of know where you should fall calorically and macro-wise every single day. So I highly recommend taking advantage of that service, and you will find my website down in the description box, as well as links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things, and the link to head over and join me on my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of that amazing growing community over there, so come on over and join us. So. With that being said, let's jump into this week's WW workshop topic and weigh in. So first I want to share with you a little bit about my week. So I had an incredibly busy week again, and I actually don't see that changing anytime soon. With the exception of October 8th through the 12th, I am actually flying down to San Diego next Thursday to spend a few days with my best friend. We're going to hike and go to SeaWorld. We're gonna have dinner and go shopping. It's going to be amazing. We're actually staying in a hotel so that we can go to the pool, the fitness center, the hot tub. I'm really excited. I could use a little bit of a getaway, especially considering how busy I've been. Speaking of a getaway, I wanted to let you guys know, you will see a weigh-in video next Friday. It will just be filmed on Thursday before I head to the airport. And then you will also see a grocery haul as normal on Saturday. So nothing is really going to change as far as the content here on my channel. I'm just going to have it pre-filmed and ready to go. So that's exciting. So this week was good. It was busy. I was able to stay on plan, but one negative thing or somewhat negative thing happened this week and I'll let you take a wild guess. It happens every month. It's probably my least favorite time of the month. You guessed it, my cycle is here. Now, on a positive note, I'm glad that it came prior to my trip. I'm early quite a few days, so that's why it didn't line up with my trip, which I'm incredibly grateful for, but still, it really put a little bit of a wrench into my week. I was extra hungry, which is pretty normal for me leading up to my cycle. Then it kind of mellows out and my hunger kind of subsides, but I was able to get an exercise. I still stayed within my calories. I only had one day that I indulged, so to speak, or used a little more calories and points than normal. So I'm happy with overall how the week went. I'm feeling a little bit bloated, which again is normal. And I wasn't really excited about this all happening right before I had to weigh in. Who is every month? So with that being said, I want to talk a little bit about the workshop topic before I share this week's weigh-in. So this week we talked all about sleep and it's funny because I didn't sleep very well last night. Whenever I'm busy and I have a lot on my mind, I have a hard time sleeping. Once I wake up, no matter what time it is, midnight, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, I have a really hard time going back to sleep. My husband starts work at 3.30 in the morning. And it's hard for me to sometimes go back to sleep when he wakes up at two, and that's what happened last night. So this topic actually came at a really perfect time for me. So we talk all about how 
to get a good night's sleep. Just not a night's sleep, but a good solid night's sleep. So generally there are some roadblocks that get in the way to quality sleep. Like I mentioned, I'm someone that is so busy and there's always things going on and my mind is always moving that it's hard for me to fall asleep and stay asleep once I wake up. It's pretty normal for us to have a traditional roadblock when it comes to getting a good solid seven to nine hours of sleep, which is what's recommended for sleep for our bodies. Four very common roadblocks and some strategies on how to deal with those roadblocks when they enter our life, enter our sleep pattern. So roadblock number one is a busy mind. That is what I suffer from, like I mentioned, I have a busy mind. It's hard for me to turn my mind off at night and it's hard for me to just really sleep through the night if I have a lot going on or if I'm anticipating a lot happening the next day. All I can think about is how I need to get up and get going on all the things that I need to do the following day. So there's a couple of tips that WW shared which I am going to take full advantage of. And tip number one is to take advantage of the meditation app that's part of the WW app. Or take a moment to meditate and clear your mind at night. Even if you wake up in the middle of the night and you have a hard time going back to sleep, take a few minutes to really relax and clear your mind and hopefully that will help you get back to sleep. Number two is start a worry list or have a journal maybe in your nightstand drawer or by your bedside where if you have a hard time sleeping or waking up or your mind is just busy, write down the things that are bothering you. Sometimes just writing things down helps clear our mind and maybe it'll help you fall asleep and stay asleep a little bit better. The second road block to sleep is a restless body. And I do suffer from this sometimes, especially if I have a really hard workout and my body is sore. My legs are sore, my knee hurts, my arms are sore. Sometimes a restless body can inhibit us from getting a good night's sleep. So a couple of strategies for a restless body are to take a nice, hot bath or shower about an hour before you go to sleep. Generally when we shower or when we take a bath, it kind of reignites our senses once we get out of the bath or shower. But shortly after, within a half an hour, 45 minutes, our body starts to relax from the warmth of that bath or shower. So taking one about an hour before you go to bed can really, really help with that restless body get those joints a little loosened up and warmed up and sometimes that's exactly what our body needs to fall asleep. The second strategy is maybe put on some calming music and maybe do some stretches. Stretch out whatever it is that's restless in your body and that calming music just before bed will help put you to sleep as well. The third roadblock to sleep deprivation is a busy, busy, stressful evening. There just doesn't seem to be enough hours in the day when you're working a full-time job and you have a family, you have to make dinner, pack lunches, get your clothes out, take a shower, bathe your children, get your children ready for the next day. Whatever the case may be, our evenings can be really, really hectic. So take some time on Sunday or over the weekend to get a little bit caught up and maybe even ahead of the game a little bit. Maybe pay your bills on a Sunday. Get through your emails and set yourself up for a little bit less less hecticness, is that a word, during the week. Another thing you can do for hectic weeknights is to meal prep or at least pre-cut and pre-slice the ingredients that you're going to need for that week's recipes. Maybe make sure that your veggies are all cut up, your lettuce is cut up for salads, even your meat can be pre-cooked, pre-sliced and just warmed up when it comes to making dinner. Those couple of tips can really help make a hectic evening a little less stressful, which means you're probably going to fall asleep and stay asleep a little bit easier. And roadblock number four is waking up at night. Again, I suffer from this. It's pretty funny because three out of four of these roadblocks I suffer from. I luckily get to work from home so I'm able to stay pretty caught up, but it, when I am behind or when it's hectic, that's when my mind starts rolling. So I guess in a nutshell, I do suffer from all four of these roadblocks. But roadblock number four is waking up during the night and having a hard time going back to sleep. So strategy number one is a hard one. It's a hard one, I bet, for the majority of us, and that is to avoid blue lights before bedtime. That means no TV, phone, computer, iPad, take a break the last hour before you go to bed. When we are looking at blue light or screens before bed, it signals our brain to be awake. The light makes us think that we should be awake. So it makes it really, really hard for us to fall asleep. Now you can be on your computer, your iPad, your phone in the evening, just put it away about the last 45 minutes to an hour before bed. And the second strategy is find a dim spot in your house and read a book. Reading can put us to sleep. It takes a lot of brain function to comprehend what we're reading which can tire us out and just the act of laying there in a dim space comfortable reading a book tends to help 
put us to sleep. So I think these four roadblocks are very common when it comes to issues with sleeping. And like I said, I suffer from pretty much all of them. So let me know down in the comments, which one of these roadblocks do you suffer from? And what strategy are you going to take when these roadblocks come into play and keep you from getting a solid night's sleep? So now let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. So like I said, my favorite time of the month is here. Not so much. So it happened just a few days before weigh-in. I had a good week. I got in my exercise. I nailed it at Jazzercise last Saturday. If you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, come on, follow me over on Instagram. But I nailed my workout. I had over 100 active minutes. It was amazing. So when I stepped on the scale, I stayed exactly the same, which like I've said in the past, normally I gain, it might be ounces, it might be a pound. So I will absolutely 100% take a maintain. It's not a gain. That's a win for me. And I know that October is going to be a bit of a challenge for me just because I am taking a vacation next week. Luckily I'll be extremely active and my best friend follows a healthy lifestyle. So we should be choosing healthier options while we're together. So I'm hoping to come back from that vacation either with a maintain or with a loss. Now I have a whole nother week before that. So I expect I'm going to have a loss when I step on the scale next Thursday before I head out of town. So I'm happy with the maintain considering, considering it's my favorite or least favorite time of the month. I'll take it. So I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Was your way in what you expected? And let me know what roadblocks you have when it comes to sleep and what strategies again, you're going to take to eliminate those so we can all get a good night's sleep. Sleep is so important to our day-to-day -day life, to our mental health, and also to our health and well-being when it comes to weight loss. When we don't get enough sleep, we tend to be snacky and we're not snacky on broccoli. We're snacky on foods we shouldn't be eating. So sleep is just so important in so many different aspects of our life. So again, if you are new, thank you for coming over and checking out today's video. If you're a returning subscriber, of course, thank you. You guys know I love you. If you are new or you're not yet subscribed, please take a moment and do so. That way you're not missing a single video. Click the little bell next to it so you're notified whenever I upload. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And of course, make sure you're checking out that description box down below where you're going to not only find my nutrition coaching website, my Facebook group, but also links and discount codes to all of my favorite things. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.